So I am sitting here with Nathaniel Nose in our cuddle puddle. Hey Nathaniel, how you doing today? Amazing, how are you? I'm fantastic. So, what kind of music do you produce? I produce electronic dance music. I go from trap, twerk, electro house kind of vibes. Just pretty aggressive and just dancing as fun. Is that what you first got into? I first got into like drum and bass and trance way back before probably all these people were born. But um, yeah, so that's like my influences. And from there, I progressed through just many of the changes through genres throughout the years. And still just love like electro house, but still appreciate like drum and bass and trance and dubstep and everything else in between. When did you first start getting involved in the electronic dance music scene? 15 years ago. We have a freaking veteran over here, oh my gosh. Just a rave, like a little, little rave child when I was 15 in Arizona. Desert, like illegal raves. And, Is that uh, where you're from? From Tucson, Arizona. Oh wow, when did you move out here? I moved out here two months ago from Portland, Oregon. Yeah. And what's the scene like in Portland? It is awesome. It is smaller, but I moved here to like step in the big leagues, basically. What do you think of the LA rave scene? I mean, I don't know about the particular rave scene, but just like the electronic music scene is just incredible. It's the biggest city in like the country for electronic music and music in general. So we get a little bit of everything here. You can kind yeah. of go every which way. For sure. A shout. So have you been at any festivals lately? Do you go to many? I haven't lately because I've been working on music more and trying to like wrap my head around it. I've only been produce producing for about two and a half years. Been DJing for about eight years. So got some good uh, mentors: SPL, Hateris, Seth from Tri Seth from Triage have like taught me their ways, and now I'm able to make music and. Still rep them hard as fuck though. You have so. some serious mentors. I do. I, do. I like this. So if you could play any festival or show or club, where would you like to play? EDC Main Stage. Hell yeah, that's it. Were you there this year? I was not there this year. There. I'm working on tunes, man. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Their main stage this year was a cathedral. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it online. It was gorgeous. But I feel like I've, I'm not going to go there until I'm fucking playing there. So. Fair enough. So if you could collaborate with any DJ or producer in the world, who would it be? Dead or alive? I don't know right now. I mean, there's so many and I'm working with a lot right now. I'm not going to say names, but I don't know yet. I'm still growing and learning. And at this point, I, I couldn't even answer that right now. Do you think you're going to stay in the dubstep trap genre? Or you no, I, 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 I'm, ultimately, I love Electro House. It's like my jammy and that's like main stage shit. And this is what I've ultimately loved. I loved up tempo, like trance and everything. And I've just progressed. I love everything else as well. But my main is like Electro House, big room, like. Ah. <laughs> I love that stuff too. <laughs> Have you um, dabbled in any more like underground stuff? I have. I have some like weird down tempo, like dub tracks. I, I mean, at this point, I've made so much weird underground shit, and I'm trying to just like step into big leagues and play what I really like and make what I really like. So, just big room, a lecture house. How long does it take you to typically produce a track? It just depends on what track and who it's with. If there's vocals, if there's a lot of stuff you gotta deal with musically. If not, you know, if it's a basic like track with just like bass sounds, it's a lot easier. But when music is involved, it takes a lot more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, so we have one more thing. I like to give my DJs that I interview a piece of my specially made candy from Rave. I'm gonna need you to hold my mic really quickly so I can do my plur handshake. Are you ready? Okay. Peace. Have you done this before? It's been a minute. Am I your first? No. But okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sad. You're my first in a while though, so. Peace, love, <laughs> unity, and Get over and respect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. That's it. We'll see you next time.